Hi and welcome to week 19 of World History 2. So this week we're going to begin by talking about the history of Parliament in England and we're going to be covering some other topics as well. We're going to look at the fight for women's suffrage in Britain as well and the harrowing period known as Ireland's Great Famine. So uh, we're going to kick things off with Parliament in Britain. So picture this, it's the 17th century and England is undergoing significant changes. The monarchy, once holding absolute power, is facing a challenge. So enter Parliament, a crucial development in the evolution of British governance. Parliament acts as a sort of functions as a sort of brain of the government. They make important decisions and they make laws. Over time, it had evolved into two houses or two parts, the commons and the lords, creating a system of checks and balances. And this shift laid the groundwork for modern democratic principles that we see today. So when we say a system of checks and balances, we're talking about the opposite of absolute rule, a system of checks means that it is a check on power and balances as well. So the, you can consider that the, vote, that the power of the monarchy has been reduced to at least one third of the entire spectrum. So the two other parts would belong to the House of Commons and the House of Lords. We will then move on to discuss the women's suffrage movement. Now, suffrage, again, means voting. It is the right to vote. So when we say women's suffrage, we're talking about women's right to vote. So, of course, that was a movement that shaped the landscape of democracy. Uh, in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, women around the world were pushing for the right to vote. It wasn't an easy journey. So you could imagine a time when women were considered second-class citizens unable to participate in shaping the laws that governed them. So a woman who led this charge faced immense challenges. Of course, uh, they organized pro uh, protests, faced arrests, and fought for the simple yet powerful idea that women should have a say in their governments. The struggle for women's suffrage was a pivotal moment in achieving greater equality. So, of course, we're going to be delving deeper into this topic. We're going to talk about some key figures uh, and about some key tactics and strategies, as well as the acts or laws that were first passed that allowed them to begin to vote. You can think of it as the beginning of the progressive era. And, of course, um, it was the seed for today's um, democracy. We'll then finally move on to Ireland and explore a very dark chapter known as the Great Famine. So in the mid 19th century, a devastating potato blight struck Ireland, wiping out the staple crop and triggering a humanitarian crisis. So the Irish, heavily reliant on potatoes, faced widespread hunger and disease. This catastrophe was compounded by complex social and economic factors, including British colonial policies. So as we had studied earlier, the British rose to power mainly thanks to naval supremacy. And they had colonies in the US and in Ireland as well. So the effect of the British on the Irish was similar to that on the Americans. Millions of Irish people emigrated and sadly many lost their lives. The Great Famine had a profound impact on Irish history, shaping the nation's identity and its relationship with Britain. So, when we wrap up this week, we are going to wrap it up with some current events on Wednesday. We're going to talk about some of the geopolitics in the area and look for parallels in history. And we're going to end it with a debate where we're going to discuss one party state's uh, their advantages and disadvantages versus a multi-party state. 
and their advantages and disadvantages as well. So I hope that this was good and a sufficient preview for the coming week. I look forward to working with you all soon. Thank you.